Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 2 of Doom. Having fun, man. Just killing shit. Go, grenade, go! Right about. Oh, nimp! Fuck your face, bro! Oh, I can shoot that explodey barrel. Rip! Ariel! Oh, he's dead. Oh, wait. Oh, here you go. Ariel? Ariel intro! I like it. Dude, the Ariel fatalities are great. The fatalities in general must have been so far incredibly fun. <laughs> it's, this uh, this encourages the sadist in me, and I like it. Checkpoint done. Okay, is it gonna lift up or no? I bet I need to activate it in some capacity. All right, let me explore the side before we continue where we're probably supposed to go. Oh, hey, buddy. You see that thing? Is it gonna loop around? Can I get up here? Nope. Okay, I can't space bar. I can't climb that. Darn. So I can probably jump up there. Yeah, I know. I know which ways it's telling me to go. I heard you over there, and I highly doubt we're gonna make that jump. So I'm not even gonna bother with it. Let's not go splat right now. Let's continue this way. I heard somebody over here screaming. What was that thing doing that? Nobody. A realsies. Okie doke. More armor. Looks like 50. Ooh, we're stuck. Looks like 50s are soft cap. More frag grenades. Can I use that as a recharging station? Because it, it recharges automatically, does it speed it up? Huh. See, what, what, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually really curious about those secrets that they, we were told about here just a minute ago. Um, I, I highly doubt anything like that, yeah. I think I'm grasping for straws, so we'll, we'll reach around, or we'll reach around Giggity. We'll come back if we need to. The game so far has been pretty generous about backtracking. Okay, fuck your shit. Oh, I got one on the imp! Good shit. Ooh, oh, they are behind me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I can tell you right now that I'm enjoying this. Dude! Fucking liquidated. Just, mmm. Oh, come on, I'm interacting here now. This is some kind of blatant secret. What is this shit? Look at that old style Doom door. I cannot open it with E. Melee? I have the blue key card, there's blue lights, I don't know. I don't know, that, that's screaming at me. That's screaming secret to me. What's, what's dead up here? Person. I gotta check those bodies, because so far that one had a key card on it. I don't know if there's gonna be more like that. That have stuff of use on them. I saw somebody up there. Alright, so it's gonna make me jump that. And that's gonna loop around to where we had that jump, yeah. Here it goes. Nothing on you. Nothing there. Shut up. <laughs> Look at these people. Just wrecked. Oh, hey, what's is that? Is that that thingy we saw? Okay, he looks like he's just chilling. Now, there's still that secret area up there. How do I get up and go around? It's gonna irk me. I gotta know. What about back here? Ooh. I'm glad I bothered. Full armor. Oh. Environments, more environment codex. Uh, the UAC. Uh, we already read that one. It's this one. Aha, welcome to Mars. Uh, new advocates, welcome to the UAC. This guidebook will serve as your personal guide fitting in at Argent facility at the Argent facility on Mars. Your devotion to the to UAC's mission is the foundation on which we achieve the establishment of a new paradigm to move humanity forward to the future. Tier one advocates may take some time to adjust life on Mars. But with faith and dedication, you can look forward to a long, fruitful career as you work toward your, as as you work towards full induction. Your transition to tier two status will be judged upon your actions here. Make a good impression, new advocate. And oh, either I, I hold on. That says scroll entries. No, see now that that's up and down. See, I still haven't figured that out. Like, no, look, there, there's a there's a scroll. Oh, the scroll wheel apparently works now. It was right there. When I was messing with it last time. You saw it. So um, we didn't get to read. The, the earlier part here, because it got cut off. So the last line, uh, as Ar Argent Ender becomes a primary power source on Earth, new visitors to the UAC facility may take for granted the rich, rich atmosphere while on the surface, but it should be remembered that just a few short decades ago, March was an inhospitable desert that could support no life. And then down here, there's another... Okay, right there. As, as we say here on Mars, power from the people. So the Gornus, we didn't miss anything. 
it was the sidearm that we missed a little bit, and it looks like it's gonna let me let me grab the scroll wheel this time. Weapons constructed of thermally diffusive metal alloys, which allow to discharge rapidly and repeatedly without overheating uh, or compromising the accuracy. The capacitor in the EMG can also be upgraded to concentrate the energy into one large pulse for stopping more or for more stopping power. So that's what we have right now. Didn't miss anything on the frag grenade. Uh, monsters, I think we missed something on the possessed. Uh, see, like, I can't actually scroll through this one again. Like, that's weird. Like, see? Okay, look, now, okay. Either there's a bug in the game or it's just weird, but the scroll wheel wasn't there. It was all grayed out. But here we go. We can, we can see now. Uh, let's see here. They will stand up moving for days, uh, unless presented, uh, okay, uh, or weeks at a time until presented with a live food source or threatened by a predator. And uh, here we go. This is all new right here. An interesting behavior has been seen when the possessed are held in small groups. They will drag human corpses to a central location within their holding pens and then perform a silent ritual around a pile of bodies. The resulting ceremonial site appears to be the initial stages of a gore nest. These actions must be driven by a telepathic communication or hi with higher ranking demons, as there is no local brain activity that could manage such choices. The possessed will perform these tasks even when limbs are removed or the Pavlovian pain responders are implemented in their cortex, further cementing the theory that they are unwilling slaves performing an integral part of the life cycle of the demons. The possessed create uh, the, cre the possessed create the birthing ground for new demons upon expiration, and upon expiration are themselves used as fertilizer for the gore nest. Okay, we didn't miss anything there. Let's see, nothing on the tutorials. I feel like we do we miss one on the environments. I oh, know we read that one, and here we go. We read that one. Okay, so we're all caught up on codex entries. Obviously, I'd, I'd like to read them to you and read them to myself. I want to know what's going on here. That's quite nice. But, uh, so yeah, we can totally charge this thing. I like it. Alright, so... Can I break that? It's up that way is that lift. Well, let's talk to this thingy. Or shoot it. it looks like let's just talk to it. Combat support drone. Weapon modifications. Okay, so... We're given a choice? Between one or the other? Charge burst. Hold the weapon mod button to charge up a three round burst with a tighter spread. Okay, so that's going to use three shots at once, meaning three bullets, meaning three shells, meaning very ammo cons consumptuous. Explosive shot. Hold the weapon mod button to charge up an arcing explosive round. Speedy recover, rapid fire, quick load, instant load. Not sure what these quite mean, but let me go with explosive. I have to purchase or cancel. I'll purchase it. Uh, <laughs> poor robot, he just wanted to give me stuff. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, explosive shot obtained. Let's see here. Does it, does it go over to the side? If I... Okay, I have to arrow key over. Okay. Explosive shot. This shotgun ammunition incorporates a glycerin fuse uh, that detonates... I'm gonna butcher that. Octonitro cuban cubane gel upon impact. Embedded shot is dispersed at the point of impact, creating a wide area of effect. Highly effective against multiple targets when de or when detonated to the rear of enemies in a defilade. That's an interesting word. Defilade? I've never read that or heard that word before. I read that. Tutorials. Weapon modifications. Pressing right click will activate an alternate firing mode for any weapons that have them equipped. You can visit the arsenal tab of the dossier, dossier to view your available mods and upgrade them. To acquire more weapon modifications, look around the environment for field drones that will allow you to select a new mod for a weapon of your choice. Oh, I'm sorry. I kind of like decked you and all, but I, I, I want to keep doing it. <laughs> so I don't want to right click now to, in order to not waste. Ooh, that's tempting. That's telling me to either use this or grenade. Did you hear me? You guys saw me. Have a grenade. <laughs> Poke. Uh, let me shoot this dude. Oh, is that an imp shooting at me? Oh, that is. I want to save some of the shotgun ammo. Okay, nope, never mind. Fuck this dude. Rip you. For some reason, I didn't think he was quite dead. All right, let's see. Does the armor go first, or does it reduce the max of the HP? When I get hit, I'll try to pay attention to that. I'm all inevitably will get hit. Right in the fucking spine. It's so satisfying. Oh, fuck you, Imp. Oh, okay, he's almost dead. Rip. <laughs> I love this little pistol that has unlimited ammo. That's sweet. I can't wait to see what this game's gonna be like on some of the harder difficulties. 
I imagine it's actually going to be pretty challenging with the whole run and gun playstyle. It's pretty fast paced. So, I'm either missing that secret or that ledge back there or something, unless it loops around in some respect. I don't see anything. Now, can I get up here and go up that way? Is, is this the right or wrong way? Okay, I know I can do it. Is there anything else down here before I do? No. Can you go up that way? Yes, you can. Well, let me go this way first. I will do my damnedest to explore all the things. Explodey barrels. Can I interact with whatever that is? No. Ooh, spooky. Lots of explodey barrels here. Okay, so it loops around the same place. We has options! Even though they're kind of all like the same thing. Is this new? Is, where am I supposed to go there? Really? It looks like it's just for HP. Unless there's a secret we're missing. Huh, okay. Well, let's continue forward. I find it interesting that it looped all the way around just for HP. I might be, miss I might be missing something. What's up here? Ammo. Hey, buddies. Nope. Right in the face. Fuck your shit. All right, let me get up there. Oh, the fucking choke. Where'd that imp go? I keep on the reload. It's like there's no reload. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Oh, you little shit. You just die. Thank you. I see you, buddy. I see get, get down from there. Get down from there. If I could hit, that'd be great. I, I need to make sure I kill you guys that way. Because you're free HP. Don't you smack me. Okay, so it completely goes to armor before it goes to HP. Because he hit me. And there was only an armor reduction. Nice to know. Is there another imp behind me charging? Yes, there is. Oh, come on, get weak! Don't hurt my armor! I think we get 20 from that. 25. Oh, shit. Hey, you guys, I gotta kill myself with melee. I'll save you. Hang this rubbish pile. Nada. Alright, let's keep the high ground first. Anything else up here? What's that say? Something logistics manufacture. Oh, keep... I thought I saw a guy back there. I'm like, didn't I just come from there and kill everybody? What's going on here? Uh, oh, hello. Let me fall down, there's ammo. And that just takes us to the pit. Okie doke. Hey, come this way, just line up for me. No, you gotta go. You gotta go. I don't like you. Imps gotta go. These plebs... These plebs just... Yeah, I'll do that. My armor's going down on what I got hit by there. Uh, hey, buddy. Oh, dude, the kick to the back. That HP looks like it disappears pretty quick, which is kind of annoying. Unless I'm picking up even when I max. <laughs> physics. Fucking physics, bro. How do you work? Rip. Oh, that, that beep, beep, beep makes me think like a grenade's going off. That just doubles back. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Okay. Another one of those frag thingies. I'm kind of te tempted. Let me throw this. Instant recharge. Okay. So it instantly recharges whatever your equipment is. Nice to know. What do we have? What? Fuck your explodey barrels. I want to melee you. Alright. Well, we'll do that. Oh, I accidentally blew his legs off. I accidentally his legs. I needed those. Uh, get up there! I think you're. I think you're uh, immune to damage for that extended period of time. Whenever you're in this animation, let me save those armor shards for after the fight. I'm sure I won't uh, get hit by these dudes too much. <laughs> these dudes are pretty casual. Uh, nope. Fuck you, imp. They do do a, ma a large amount of damage if they actually hit, hit you, though. This possessed, you gotta be careful of that. Because if you don't... It, it does a little bit of a lunge when you're up close like that, it looks like. And if I'm not directly in the space... Yeah, fuck you. Give me your hand. Checkpoint reached. Okay, you don't need that shit. There's a, ooh, there's large armor up top, too. Excellent. Excellent. 
I like killing these things. Okie doke. What do we have back yonder? Trying to find dim secrets, though. But I am not the greatest at that. But I'll do my best to look around. Well, what are you? Nothing? Okay, that's obviously where we came from. Okay, so we're gonna go get that armor before I forget. That armor's gonna be good. There's not one of those instant frag recharges. I like those. Okay. There's a full pack of HP. Oh, really? You seeing that? I have to come from up top, I guess. Take the armor shards. That door is lay busted. All right, so it looks like we have to go up top. All about that jumping in this. I like it. It's just, it's just fun. It's, it's not very Doom-like. The whole jumping thing. That sounded big. That sounded real big. Okay. We'll get the HP here in a sec. What do we got back here? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. These are going to be like necessities, I think, in any kind of harder difficulty. Just absolutely exploring everything. Take that HP. More armor. Oh, we're max. Well, thankfully, when you're max, you don't pick it up. Oh, fuck. A mother load over here. Okay, into the main door we go, I guess. Whichever one wants to open. Can I press you? Oh, 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 okay. Quit beeping at me, bro. More armor. They're, uh, they're being too generous to me. I've played, a, I've played enough FPS to know where this is going. You gotta open up? No, it's the stairs. Nothing? Stairs it is, bro. I got a bad feeling. Now 221 accident-free days. You might want to check that again. <laughs> Just saying. God rested on the seventh day, but imagine how much further along we would be if he hadn't. The UAC is committed to excellence. That's why we implemented the seven-day work week. Now you can achieve greatness alongside your co-workers every day. Let's never stop achieving. I quit. I'm out. <laughs> Let's see if he has another one. Wasn't expecting the second one to begin with. Welcome to the UAC. Oh, cycling. Fuck your 221 accident free days. Oh, I guess that's the end of the level. Nice. So I missed I missed some secrets, obviously. Elite guards, field drones. So there's an elite guard? Combat and challenges are unavailable. So there's something I definitely missed there. I, I don't know, depending on how much I end up liking this game and how, like, how fast it goes, I might consider doing a run on like super hard and looking for all the secrets. But uh, let's continue here. Oh, there's an achievement. E1M1. Ah. Broken free from your prison, pitted against evil, the cycle begins anew to, to discover the cause of the demonic evasion. First locate and align the communication satellite with it, in the resource operations facility. Well, yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm missing some obvious secrets. Who knows? The game just came out. I didn't look up no guides. I'm just having fun. I know your enemy. Is Oh. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed, will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Well, thanks, buddy. Mission challenges are activated when a mission begins, and completing them rewards you with weapon upgrade points. You can view the requirements and track progress in the missions tab of the dossier. Okay, so the challenges. Um, let's see here. Purchase all upgrades to unlock mastery. So, I already have explo- Okay, so I can purchase an upgrade for, for explosive shot itself. Okay, so those three options were things that we can upgrade within the thing we got, or within the the, the mod. And this thing, more charge, lightweight, move at full speed while using charge. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's some interesting shit in here. Environmental resistance. These upgrades improve resistance to environment and explosive damage. That could be good. Upgrades improve the capabilities of the navigation system. Could be good. Next upgrade. These are expensive. Power up effectiveness. Dexterity. Affect the speed of certain actions. Ooh, faster climbing, maybe faster melee. That'd be cool. Uh, let's see. He said it, it was found under our dossier here. We have a new tutorial. That's the mission challenges. 
Um, challenging reward points. You can view the requirements and track progress in the mission tab, which is this one. Ch challenges right here. Twofer. Kill two of the possessed with one trigger pull from the shotgun. So the possessed are the casual plebs who just walk around aimlessly, so we had to line them up. Rise the splice of death, perform five different glory kills on the possessed, that should be pretty easy. Find three secrets. That I can't guarantee, but the other two should be relatively easy. Uh, can I, like, assign them cycle objectives? What's the cycling between? Restore power to the facility or... Nothing? It's like, the top left it highlights one. Like, that just shows me. I guess you cycle through multiple objectives if you had multiple. Okay, so that is interesting. Let's continue forth. Checkpoint reach, nice. Oh, hold on, we'll get that in a second. UAC personnel, Vega. Uh, running the Arjun facility takes a lot of power, not just electrical and mechanical power, but computational power. With so many interdependent systems feeding off of a single power source, the UAC decided it would need to create a central mainframe to, uh, computer to manage not only the flow of Arjun energy, but the day-to-day -day operations of, of a facility with over 60,000 employees. This mega computer, the brainchild of Samuel Hayden, head of the UAC, would exceed the computational ability of any system before it. And more importantly, it would be recognized as the first truly autonomous artificial intelligent entity. They named it Vega. Nope, that lady cut off. Can we trigger her again, or...? Oh, she cut off. Hopefully she comes back. Let me try to line you two plebs up. I will attempt to line you two plebs up. What I really ought to do is, like, shoot you in the leg or something once. And then shoot you in the leg, and then... Oh, you bastard. Ah, I gotta hurt them more. Ah, I guess we have to rely on spray. Or I don't know if right-click the explodey thing will have any impact on that. So we're... We're going for the two... Two hit, one kill thing. That's not gonna count. There's like no spray on this thing. Nice! But we do need to do varieties of the spice of death. That should be an easy one. There's so many of them. Main power offline. All entrances I, not main, main power offline. I assume that's what she was going to say earlier. As I do nothing because of the power. Yeah, low power. Can I force this open? My guy is a fucking vamp, dude. Okay, well, let's see here. There it is, two for you have earned weapon upgrade points that can be used to Ooh, so we instantly earned a weapon upgrade point by completing the challenge. Instant load removes the loading time for an explosive shot. What's it do after I after that? Okay, not much. I think bigger boom. I'm thinking bigger boom. N unless so is that only for this weapon? Okay, it can be used for any weapon. Don't know if it's worthwhile throwing it into that. But I'm gonna roll. Oh no no! I'm gonna roll with bigger boom, because that'll save ammo, get more enemies, one hit. I like it. Bigger boom it is, and we can upgrade All into it even more. Hey buddy. <laughs> Wreck. Let me go this way first. There's people grumbling over here. There's a lot of people grumbling over here. Oh, I can't even open this door. I, I can't wait till we jump down there. Oh, li listen to that shit. Hey, buddy. Varieties of Spice of Death. Let's keep that going. All entrances not operational. Oh, fuck you. Fuck your face. No, you don't need that face. Stop it. Boink. Told you you didn't need that face. I don't know. This doesn't do anything. Can't interact with it. Okie doke. Bye bye, demon. Ooh. Nice hard hat. Uh, reset power. I have a bad feeling about this one. Oh shit, son.
previously recorded. For some reason, she was very quiet compared to, like, say, the, the UI lady who's talking. I could hardly hear. Ooh. Can I sprint? Shift does nothing but slow me down. I mean, like, that's a, that's a kind of obvious secret. Hold on here. Settings, mouse and keyboard, key bindings. Is there a sprint? EFG, yeah, it just tells you all the weapons. I don't see switch mod using next equipment, previous equipment. I don't see a sprint. Jump, double jump. I can't double jump, can I? No, not yet. Oh, she's repeating it. I can't get up there either. Like, that just looks too secretive. How the fuck? There isn't, there's nothing on either side, but <laughs> it screams secret. Oh, I got it! Motherfucking yeah, buddy. What do we got? Anything? I wonder if you get a flashlight of sorts. Oh, free armor. Secret found! Hey, that's the quite the explorer. I like it. So, I, I, I do need... Ooh. I can see through there. I need to keep my eyes peeled for that kind of shit. Alright, so we gotta use whatever this thing is. Map download. Ah. Predator suit upgrades. Area scanning technology unlocked. Auto map downloaded. So we can see the entire map here. Right click lets you do this, and left click moves you along. Okie doke. Still gain satellite array access is our current. No upgrade points. Navigation upgrades. What can I do here? Item awareness. The auto map reveals exploration items in a wider radius around your position. A pulse when near secret areas. Now that seems useful for somebody who doesn't know all the secrets. Full view. Exploration items appear in the auto map automatically. Now, I mean, looking at the map, so it's telling me that those secrets are there. There's a lot of secrets on this map. It's huge. What is it? What is it saying? This thing is right there. It's right next to me. So this thing has its own icon. Environments. Let's see here. I have an upgrade points. We already have that. We already read that. Environments. We got a new one. Uh, the Resource Operations Center, referred to as ResOps, was one of the first facilities constructed at the Mars base after the discovery of the Argent Fracture. It encompasses several key areas needed to run the facility, including plasma extraction and processing, isotope stabilization, heavy metal ore and ore mining, artifact an analysis, communications networking, and off-world transportation. That's a lot. UAC, new UAC employees posted to the Mars facility are expected to fulfill a tour duty in ResOps before, make, before moving on to their specialized career bracket. Security clearance level 1 allows access to all areas of ResOps, including Vega networking hubs and some satellite control centers. For access to these locations, new advocates must submit a Delta Q Delta form to the department departmental enforcer. Okie doke. So next time I get my little checkpoint here, I'll be able to edit the episode for us. Uh, she's still talking. All right, maintenance bay door. Oh god, it's gonna open them all. It's gonna let them all through, isn't it? Watch your step. Just let them all through the left. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will have a seat alongside the top. So loud. Opened. I don't think hip fire accuracy is dead on. Probably jump around. Am I hearing an imp jump around over there? I think I am. There's a checkpoint. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Episode two. Still having a hell of a lot of fun. At least we figured out that weird shit that was going on with this. I'm like, what? 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 What was one that needed scrolling? It was the the handgun. Like, for some reason, unless I clicked away, like, I clicked on it and clicked away from it, the scroll wheel thingy wasn't working. But now it does. I'm, I don't know why that was, but hey, it worked. So it looks like we missed some secrets in the first level. Uh, no biggie. First playthrough. Uh, we'll see what's what. I'm enjoying the hell out of this game. Again, let me know if you're, you're like, I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.